Hey guys, so I added some 3D bar graphs to my C++ C program in Windows with GNU plot and let me show you where you can do this. So what I do is I go to this website SourceForge GNU plot SourceForge.net demo and you pick a graph that you want to emulate and find one that's good for you. Um, I chose 3D box graphs, this one. And I scrolled down to the bottom and found this one that I liked. And what you do is you click here for the code to generate the plot. And you cut and paste all this. And you can actually stick this into a, a GNU plot window and it'll pop up this little app right here, this little window graph. But you can also do it in C and that's what I like to do. So from my last video I had this 2D line graph that I called and basically it just did this printed to a pipe some 2D data from text dot data dot txt. It data dot txt was just a text file with two points of data x and y. Okay so now I'm writing a file with three points of data, x, y, and z. So that's my x, that's my x, that's my z. And this comes from a workload right here, my z and my x and my y. So what I do is I print that to the data.txt file to the disk, I flush it, and then instead of calling this 3D bar graph program inside the loop, I call it outside of one of the loops because this function actually takes 0.5 seconds to render 3D bar graphs. It takes longer than the 2D line graph. So it was bogging down my system. I need to just create another GPU core and make this guy call it separately so it's not blocking. But for now, and what you could do too, is uh, just call it outside of a loop. You could even put it way out here and then it just you know, pretty much instantly shows your data. So let me run it. Let me show you what it does. So the first ones don't get rendered because they have zero points. But then, so every inner loop, every, not inner loop, but one out of the inner loop renders the whole side of data, a whole color's worth of data. and. So I think there's like, I think it'll be done here in a second. And after this, you can zoom out and then rotate it, look at your data. It's pretty neat. It tells me here that my, my spread of my neural network input data trains better with a higher spread of data anyway. Uh, so let me show you the code. And over here is what I cut and pasted from that website I showed you earlier. So this function here calls to this function here. And I just cut and pasted uh, this guy right here, all this. I cut and pasted it right into here. And I put a printf fprintf around the data that I cut and pasted. I cut and pasted all this stuff. Okay. And now I'm printing this information to the pipe, the GNU pipe that I, that I set up. And uh, I also added some code that I don't need to recall this every time. It saves a little bit of runtime. Uh, this is just initialization of your GNU for like setting the the box width, the box height, the style of the the boxes that are rendered, stuff like that. I trial and error. You, you can kind of tell what you need every time. What I needed every time was the color. This color is based on a x coordinate, and the s plot is for 3D. Um, this just grabs the from data text data.txt the file with x y z x y and z and a color this color just 
$1 means what's ever in column 1 of your text file, same as this. Uh, $3 I'm not using, I try and kind of changed it on. That's for Z, I didn't end up using it. The original file doesn't have Z in this parameter, uh, but uh, let's see. I'll be sure to close the quote over here. Uh, what else? So this is a little for loop. It goes, and I'm not actually using this. Uh, the old code used it. You can look at the old code. It kind of munged. The old code, it didn't really have a separate x, y, and z for every point. It had the x's in the left column, and the y's was the derivation of, I don't know, it's kind of hacky. It used this candlesticks.dat file, which was in this directory. You could take a look at it. Um, but I just redid all of it and simply put 1, 2, and 3 for x, y, and z. So that was easy. Um, and then it prints, I mean, it does the graph every time it pops out of one of the loops. So here's the inner loop. When I had this inside the inner loop right there, it just took 150 seconds to run the whole thing. <laughs> Here it takes only 17 seconds, and if I put this outside of the outer loop, it, it takes only like five seconds, including all the work loop. So it takes half a second, I calculated, for each call. I guess the 3D bar graphs just aren't optimized like the 2D line graphs, or there's just more rendering. It, it really shouldn't take that long. I guess GNU plot isn't really optimized. It shouldn't take that long, even for 3D bar graphs, as far as I'm concerned. So something's a little slow in there. But, you know, what you could do, like I said, you could create a multi-layer or multi-path uh, parallel processing thread to just go off and render this on another core. Uh, but, you know, it's easy to get this thing running. It just doesn't take a lot of code to stuff all the data from the website in one of these. You know, you can grab all kinds of cool, um, cool plots over there. Let's see, where is it? Did I close that? Oh, there it is. There's all kinds of neat plots over here. There's like these surface plots, which have color on top of, oh, uh, there's a surface plot, but there's surfaces. There's, let's see, you can put colors on your surfaces. <laughs> That's pretty neat. You know, so here you're actually mapping probably two variables, it, and it's not a fourth dimension, but it's two variables on three dimensions, I believe. So you can just pick whatever you want. I mean, let's look at for some more. That's kind of neat. Oh, that's kind of neat. So, and those will run really fast, I believe. Um, I think the 2D stuff just runs a lot faster, but you can just go crazy looking at your data in different ways and then um, just, just you know cut and paste this stick it in that function and away you go all right well see my first video if you're interested it showed the basics of how that all got set up to begin with and um, that was a modification I found to do the other 3d graphs